Ah, we bet him. But this is it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Do or die, lower brackets or the upper brackets. We're gonna throw it over to our casters. Thing that a lot of people didn't foresee coming. Welcome Game number five Legends. was indeed possible in the hands of the robots. Now the climax begins for the cavalry and the red robots. Let's see for one last time. Bigger John Alpha TLID, who will go to the upper bracket finals and who will be sent down to the lower brackets? Oh boy. Now we thought it was gonna be an assassin showdown in this game, but it turns out with, this, with Super Ken being on the Xbox now, it seems like the, again, the foot is on the other shoe. We can Alpha can play so well for the neutral objective, but if we follow the uh, opinions of Mirko, we have to play really hard for this, you know, this strong side Brody pick. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste of a, of a slot there. They could have put something else that can kind of scale better. Two Inspires for the Paramus and the Mathilda, and you can see the assassin, assassin Emblem with the Master Assassin for the Brody. So, man, we're gonna go aggressive. But with the fights getting so close between these two heroes, Someone just showing up, popping an ultimate could be enough to swing the fight in favor of one side, but Team Liquid or Aaron Shipley trying to go aggressive there. Let's see for the first neutral objective take. Bigger John Alpha and TLID, they're in position to go and take the oh. neutral objective. Pyramus pops into the realm. Ron now pinned down towards the backside. That's the Vengeance pops as well. Let's see TLID in prime positioning. Oh. That's Fabian collecting the turtle. The Ron will be the trade now with the help of the hard guard. Super Luke's in trouble, and Fabian picks up the kill. Fabian Aju in the early game, getting one for himself. Just a story in the first game and the second game. Might be recreated this time. It's objective takes. Ooh, Whoa. zero out of two. Is he feeling the pressure again? It's a hard to from a lot of the damage that Bigatron can throw his way. It's gonna require two or even three members to secure the kill onto this gold lean ruby. So Team Liquid ID can go, can do like a double split push with a ruby and link. Has claws on Fabian. That's a power spike right there. He can stay in the team fight as long as he wants, especially with the hard card. But now around already on the stage. Last turtle here is up. Super Gen level 10, Fabian, two levels above. Let's see if Bigatron Alpha can do the impossible. Two and a half thousand gold ETLID taking it slow. Fabian collects his purple, and it seems like now he wants to contest the neutral objective. Bigatron Alpha, do they have enough resources? Click their heavy spin, but that's Moreno jumping in as well. Super Gen did take the turtle. Ron goes down, Aaron Cheeky. Oh, the bits of it all find the don't run Wolf King, and that will be Super Luke taken down. Two for one still in favor of Bigatron Alpha, and remember, they got the turtle as well. Finally, the 50 50s are won by Super Ken to snap play, but ooh, Aaron Shiki. Gotta be careful, man. Ooh, careful. Fabian has the BOD in the realm, and as well as the hard uh -oh. guard here. Actually invested that hard guard very early. Oh, look at John Alpha. Backing away, Super Luke, though. Cox. Lord is taken care of. Still a 60% AP Moreno. Looking for an angle. Purify pops as well. Iran with the Infernal Pursuit. Tempest of Blade committed. But it seems like Vigatron, they have enough space to back away. Now Vigatron, oh. they want to re-engage. Rhythm Glacier pops. Moreno very low. Another round to safety. And that will be Aaron Chiki off the board. They played the kiting game perfectly, Vigatron Alpha. And now they have numbers in the Lord Pit. Even though right now, oh, TLID, they want to place this one. Super Ken. Do they have enough resources to pretend very low cost and he will fall? No retribution for the red robots. Now it's an equal crown, but not really. Fabian on the hard guard, on the link, on the zero. Can he make it happen? Let's see, Vengeance committed him on. Backing away with the guiding win. TLID has the Lord hit. Bigatron Alpha looking to delay. But it seems like they will not contest. TLID strikes first in this Lord take. Finally, that Lord taken down after all that dances, that opening showed Emma the yeah. option to just back away and to find the Lord. This time around, Fiction Alpha showed them how it's done. This is the way off the vets. This is the way of players with experience now. It's gonna be a tough test for TLD to break through the defense of Bigatron Alpha. Bigatron Alpha not letting the Lord charge on Georgia Base turn here. Bigatron or Super Ken doing his job at the bottom lane. Oh, man. This is going to be the target. Wow. Open wide actually for Fabian. Let's see how will they handle it. Super Ken over Raga. Iran forced him to go back. Oh, he's got hard guard clutch. But it seems like their mortality was bought in time. Fabian no way, no way. Winner crown for Fabian. Yes, he'll still with a nuisance and Fabian survives. DLID fights more as Slash Insanity pops as well. Oh, Iran looking for trouble. Now with the winner crown, pops as well. Look at Ronald, but can they defend? They will. Come on, finds the kill and DLID will have to be satisfied in just taking out the base turrets. Flicker. Bigatron, they want more. They know Aaron Chiki's low heart oh. committed. It's just a mistake. Bigatron Alpha, they will disengage. They're more than fine that Woo. it's a three base turret taken down for a TLID. A more seasoned team will show their fangs, will show their worth in the late game. The macro plays, the split second decision that you see these teams can make will happen this time. Seems like they want to oh. get on towards the Lord. The pin does not land on towards anyone's important last. Insanity in the backside with the help of Hardcore Tempest the Blade. 
Seems like TLID still again. And as well as Vigatron cannot find the effect of the optimal fight. Oh, I'm offended! I might be wrong. Super Cam loses mortality and the realm pops as well. That's info. TLID, I think they can use this resource waste on towards the Lord. The back and forth from Team Liquid is just so good right now. They haven't been able to, ban uh, to beat out a lot of the big ultimates. And now they're going to commit to it. Yeah. Ass and Sally is always still up and available. Aaron Cheeky, good. Lord Tay, Super Ken might fall. Black and Blue, Super Ken might fall. Fabian is on him. Tempest of Blade. This is not Lana Rondo. Oh, I'm oh, offended. Aaron Cheeky with an offended play. Look at the yes. collapse. That might be the play that sent them to the upper bracket finals. Aaron Cheeky very low. He can heal up. Fabian and crew. It's a 5v3 on the base. They're just going to back away for now. Wait for the Lord. Even though they have the man advantage. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's because Moreno is up with the passive of the Faramis. Super Luke, though, is out for 40 seconds. He can go for a 6v4. If you consider the Lord as another teammate, Hardguard is available with the fleeting time. It's time for Team Liquid ID. Let's see, TLID looking for an opening. But it seems like the Nether Realm will buy time. That's the way top. Super Ken holding the Lord in the backside. Come on. Falls down as long as well as Super Ken. The base wide open, baby. TLID, they're in the upper bracket finals. Top three secured for the youngsters, for the rookies. Incredible season so far for the Cavaries. The doubt has been answered. They don't have any experience. They're just a bunch of young guys in the playoffs. What can you say right now, ladies and gentlemen? They took down Bigatron Alpha, denying the reverse sweep. It was a tough whole team effort. On the composition without a marksman, they found a way to make it work. Where Onik were faltering in the face of a late game composition without proper siege, Team Liquid ID just know that they have it in them. They barrel through, they play the back and forth. They look like the aggressors, but they were playing it patient, man. They, they forced Bigatron to react at every single corner. And when they found the right opportunity, they have struck. They have struck gold.